This morning, I'm going to be working on my 1992 Cadillac Brougham hearse. I have engine stalling issues and gas tank problems, both related to the EVAP system. Specifically, the vapor canister here. If you look on top, the purge solenoid is attached directly to the canister, so I have to replace both, but this part is completely discontinued. I'm going to see if I can retrofit this one from a newer 95 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. It doesn't have the purge solenoid attached, so I'm going to have to use this separate one instead. I've already test fitted the harness to make sure it works. I'll put a link to both the solenoid and the canister in the video description below. Let's start by unplugging the harness here. I did confirm that my old solenoid works, as well as the tank pressure control valve, so the likely culprit is the canister. Now the top hose of the throttle body, and the bottom one that goes back to the gas tank. So this is the tank pressure control valve. When the purge solenoid opens, it applies a vacuum to the top port, which then opens the bottom ports to the gas tank. This doesn't appear to be working, as I would have excessive vacuum pressure in the tank after a long drive, and would sometimes stall out on the highway. The canister is held in place with a 10mm bolt here, and here. I'm going to need to use my long extension to get it out. Side by side, the two canisters are the same except for the purge solenoid. If I take the original canister here and shake it, you don't hear anything, though it doesn't seem to be clogged when I tested it. With the new one, you can hear the activated charcoal inside. I need to reuse the old brackets. I'll take a hammer and tap them inwards from the outer edge to pop them off, then I can install them on the new one. I just want to make sure that they're oriented so the canister lines up this way. Here's what the bracket looks like. I just have to put it in here like this, and then use my flathead screwdriver to push it into place. With those installed, I can reattach the canister here. I connected the line from the tank pressure control valve to the bottom port on the canister. The hose to the throttle body went to the top port of the original purge solenoid. That should be this port on the new one. So it should sit like this. I was originally going to do it like this, but then I would have hoses crossing each other. Time to go inside and fabricate a mounting bracket. I had some leftover inch and a quarter wide, 16th inch thick aluminum flat bar. I cut the end to look like this using my offset snips. This is one of my favorite cutting tools. If you look at the bottom of the solenoid, you'll see it has two different spacings in the mounting point. The new bracket will fit the inner one, which is a little taller. Now to bend the other end 90 degrees. I want it so the bottom of the solenoid sits just above the canister. I left a 3 quarter inch tail on the end. The bracket is going to sit right about here. Now to drill a hole. I've marked the hole with my center punch, and I think I'm going to use a 5 16 inch drill bit. That fit perfectly. Let's attach the purge solenoid. It definitely would have been too crowded if I mounted it this way. Now to connect the hose to the throttle body to the top port. And then plug in the harness. Finally, attach the other port on the solenoid to the top port on the canister with quarter inch fuel rated hose. All done. And now for the question, does this work? And the answer is yes. I've already been on six two hour plus long trips with the caddy and there's no more engine stalling or even a hint of hesitation. I also used to have issues filling the tank after a long drive, as in no more gas would go in even though the tank was over half empty. My workaround at the time was to install a check valve in place of the tank pressure control valve. With the new canister in place, I can keep the control valve installed. I hope this helps you out if you wanted to replace your discontinued vapor canister on your 1990-92 Cadillac Brome. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.